take a look at how to create a colorblind safe color palette for data visualization in your design system. So we're going to start by looking at an existing design system, which is here. Now, when you're sharing these design systems, uh, if you recall, you can copy and share the URLs, which you can paste directly into the search bar here, and Leonardo will load all of the configurations that you had created in your previous theme. So what we're looking at here is we've got this small beach theme. Now we understand that some of these colors meet contrast requirements, but things get a little tricky when we try to figure out which of these colors we can use together for creating a colorblind safe palette. So what we're gonna do here first is we're gonna come up to the share and we're going to copy color values. So what this is gonna do is it's going to copy all of these color values to our clipboard. Then what we can do is come back to the homepage of Leonardo and we're gonna to go to create data viz colors. When we click on this option, it's going to open up a new workspace for data visualization color scales. When this loads, we're gonna go over here to the qualitative tab. So this is for creating categorical colors. So we'll come here and if you see this source colors is already populated with a bunch of hex codes. We're gonna clear that out and paste our color values in here. And I'm gonna rename this Beach CVD palette. All right, now what this does is it takes all of these color values and it says, these are the colors we can choose from. Okay, and I actually don't want this background color, so I'm gonna delete that from my list. Then we can set up some constraints. First, we've got the color difference, which is the minimum delta E, uh, and, and 11 is about the lowest you'd want to go. We can increase or decrease the color difference that we want these colors to, to have. And we can also select whether or not we want WCAG compliant colors only. Now, in order to define this, we come up in the header and we can specify what our color value is for the background color and what level of compliance we want. So coming back here, this color value uh, can be placed into our background color. So here we've got F6, F9, F7 for our background color. And here we go. So we can start looking at some simulations if we'd like. As we're shown colors over here, uh, it will demonstrate those values below. And again, the if we want three to one colors only, we can check this marker here. If we want triple A rating, we swap that out. And then as we're toggling, it's only gonna give us uh, 4.5 to one uh, colors with that background. We can also select which color vision deficiencies we want to support. By default, Protan, Dutan, and Tritan are selected. If you'd like, you can also select achromatopsia. And for each of these, we're gonna be displayed uh, some simulations of the color so we can subjectively evaluate them. But again, they are already uh, being selected based on uh, their color difference within the respective uh, simulated environments. So what we can do here is we're being shown some gem generated color samples at the top and we can cycle through this until we start finding colors that we like. Now we don't have to choose all of the colors that are shown here. This is just to help in the entire process. So as I'm being shown some colors, I like this lime green. So I'm gonna choose this and as I click it, it appears down here in my output. I also like this sort of sea foam and blue. I think those are some nice colors. I'm not so sure about the rest of them. So from here, I'm going to cycle safe color options again. And when I click that, what happens is the first three that I selected are shown off to the left with this lock symbol. 
All right, so those are always going to be present in my choice of options. And then Leonardo is going to cycle through all the other colors to see which ones uh, are not in conflict with those three or any of the others. And I can just cycle through until I start finding other colors that I like. So I like this one and this one. And just keep cycling. And actually those two are kind of nice, they're unique. And what I'm starting to notice is a bit of a pattern. I've got some difference in hues here. And I may want to see how these hues relate to one another. Uh, are they equally distributed on a color wheel or not? And if I want to look into that, I can just click on this Analyze tab. And this will show me a color wheel with all of the selected colors distributed on the wheel. So I can see here that this teal that I've selected is really similar in hue to these two dark ones. So I might actually just remove these. Um, this is subjective. If you like them, you can keep them. If you want uh, to try to find a palette that's more distributed, you can do that as well. By default, this is shown in the Cam 02 color space, but if you'd like to look at other color spaces as well, you can do that to see how, uh, how each color space uh, differs in hue distribution. And uh, yeah, so you can see here in LCH, the blue and purple are uh, seem to be a little closer than in other color spaces. So once I've got a set of colors that I like, so this is a pretty small palette, but you know, I think this might be enough. Then I can either just copy these color values to use um, wherever I'd like, or I can download the SVG colors. So similar to with themes, this downloads an SVG file that I can copy, and I can go directly into the design file of my choice. And here in XD, I've got rectangles with all of these values. So I can just add those directly into my colors and start using them there. Similarly, you could come into Figma and paste. Um, it's just SVG with color codes, so you can come in and use these as well. Uh, so again, whichever design tool you prefer. And that is how to create a colorblind safe color palette using your existing theme in Leonardo.